Welcome to our new video. Today our topic is respiratory system MCQs. So let's start the video. The respiratory center which controls breathing is located in the phones in medulla oblongata, cerebellum, hypothalamus, spinal cord. So the correct answer is option A. The respiratory center which controls breathing is located in the phones in medulla oblongata. What is the primary function of the respiratory system? Transportation of oxygen, protection against pathogens, gas exchange, digestion. So the correct answer is option C. The primary function of the respiratory system is gas exchange. When there is a shortage of oxygen in the body, which organ is most affected? Intestine, skin, kidney, brain. So the correct answer is option D. Brain. The exchange of gases in lungs occurs in the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. So the correct answer is option D. The exchange of gases in the lungs occur in the alveoli. The gaseous exchange in alveoli is a type of simple diffusion or osmosis, active transport, passive transport. So the correct answer is option A. The gaseous exchange in alveoli is a type of simple diffusion. The alveolar epithelium of lungs is ciliated squamous, non ciliated squamous, non ciliated columnar, ciliated columnar. So the correct answer is option B. The alveolar epithelium of lungs is non ciliated squamous. The dome shaped muscle that helps with breathing is called the Diaphragm, trachea, bronchiole, alveoli. So the correct answer is option A. The dome shaped muscle that helps with breathing is called the diaphragm. The maximum volume of air contained in the lungs by a full force inhalation is called tidal volume, vital capacity, ventilation rate, total lung capacity. So the correct answer is option D. The maximum volume of air contained in the lung by a full force inhalation is called total lung capacity. Where does the impulse for voluntary force breathing start? Medulla, vagus nerve, spinal cord, cerebellum. So the correct answer is option D. Cerebellum. Surfactant is a substance that Prevent the collapse of alveoli, traps foreign particles in the lungs, regulate the pH of the blood, helps to transport oxygen in the blood. So the correct answer is option A. Prevents the collapse of alveoli. In earthworms, the process of respiration is through skin, head, lungs, force on its interior end. So the correct answer is option A. In earthworms, the process of respiration is through skin. The structure that branches off from the trachea and goes into each lung is called the bronchus, larynx, pharynx, epiglottis. So the correct answer is option A. The structure that branches off from the trachea and goes into each lung is called bronchus. After force expiration, someone breathes in some volume of air by force inspiration. What is this quantity of air taken is called? Total lung capacity, tidal volume, vital capacity, inspiratory capacity. So the correct answer is option C, vital capacity. The structure that separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity and plays a major role in breathing is called sternum, ribcage, diaphragm, pleura. So the correct answer is option C, diaphragm. The condition in which the bronchial tubes become inflamed and produce excess mucus is known as bronchitis, pneumonia, asthma, emphysema. So the correct answer is option A. Bronchitis. A person suffers from puncture in his chest cavity in an accident. What could be its effect without any damage to the lungs? Reduce breathing rate, rapid increase in breathing. No change in respiration, cessation of breathing. So the correct answer is option D. Cessation of breathing. The tubes that branch off from the trachea and lead to the lungs are called 
Branchioles, alveoli, pharynx, epiglottis. So the correct answer is option A. The tubes that branch off from the trachea and lead to the lungs are called branchioles. The condition in which there is a buildup of fluid in the lungs, making it difficult to breathe, is known as pulmonary edema, pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension. So the correct answer is option A, pulmonary edema. The trachea is also known as wine fifth alveoli bronchioles diaphragm so the correct answer is option a the trachea is also known as a wine fifth the medical condition in which air leaks into the space between the lung and chest wall causing the lung to collapse is known as fleuritus pneumothorax hemothorax fleurer effusion so the correct answer is option b pneumothorax the medical condition in which there is blood in the fluid cavity causing chest pain and difficulty breathing is known as fleuritus, pneumothorax, hemothorax, fluorur effusion. So the correct answer is option C, hemothorax. The condition in which the air sacs in the lungs become inflamed and filled with fuss is known as emphysema, pneumonia, bronchitis, asthma. So the correct answer is option B, pneumonia. In addition to respiratory function, the lungs also play a role in excretion, temperature regulation, pH regulation, maintaining the balance of body. So the correct answer is option B. In addition to respiratory function, the lungs also play a role in temperature regulation. Why is exposure to carbon monoxide harmful to animals? It reduces CO2 transport, it reduces O2 transport, it increases CO2 transport, it increases O2 transport. So the correct answer is option B. It reduces O2 transport. When blood carbon dioxide concentration rise, what happens to the breathing rate? Remain unaffected, decrease, stop, increase. So the correct answer is option D, increase. What happens during inspiration? So the correct answer is option D. During inspiration, the diaphragm gets splattered and ribs get raised. A normal man at rest inspires and expires about 500 ml of air. What is this amount known as? Complemental volume of air, tidal volume of air, reserve volume of air, residual volume of air. So the correct answer is option B. Tidal volume of air. After a normal expiration, the volume of air that remains in the lungs is called. Residual volume, vital capacity, expiratory capacity, functional residual capacity. So the correct answer is option D. After a normal expiration, the volume of air that remains in the lung is called functional residual capacity. What is the covering of the lungs called? Pericardium, fluoral membrane, ferritoneum, none. So the correct answer is option B. The covering of the lungs called fluoral membrane. What does the ciliated epithelium in mammals trachea do? Sucking inspired air in, receiving sense of smell, pushing expired air of out, pushing mucus out. So the correct answer is option D, pushing mucus out. Approximately 70% of carbon dioxide absorbed by the blood will be transported to the lungs. As bicarbonate ions in the form of dissolved gas molecules by binding to RBC, none of the above. So the correct answer is option A, as bicarbonate ions. What will happen if only the thoracic wall is punctured and not the lungs? The lungs get inflated, the man dies as the lung gets collapsed. The breathing rate decreases, the breathing rate increases. So the correct answer is option B. The man dies as the lung gets collapsed. 
which of the following functions by filtering and keeping the mucus and dirt away from our lungs cilia bronchioles hairs in the lungs all of the above so the correct answer is option a cilia why do we not respire for some seconds after taking a long deep breath more co2 in the blood more o2 in the blood less co2 in the blood less o2 in the blood so the correct answer is option c less co2 in the blood what controls the rate of breathing the amount of freely available oxygen amount of carbon dioxide muscular function of the body stress so the correct answer is option b amount of carbon dioxide which of the following is a respiratory disease caused by smoking asthma bronchitis pneumonia tuberculosis so the correct answer is option b bronchitis the condition in which there is a blockage of one or more arteries in the lungs causing shortness of breath and chest pain is known as pulmonary edema pulmonary fibrosis pulmonary embolism pulmonary hypertension so the correct answer is option c pulmonary embolism the condition in which the lungs lose their elasticity making it difficult to breathe is known as asthma emphysema bronchitis pneumonia so the correct answer is option b emphysema the exchange of gases between the lungs and the blood is known as external respiration internal respiration pulmonary respiration cellular respiration so the correct answer is option a the exchange of gases between the lungs and the blood is known as external respiration the exchange of gases between the blood and the body seal is known as external respiration internal respiration pulmonary respiration cellular respiration so the correct answer is option b the exchange of gases between the blood and the body seal is known as internal respiration the condition in which there is a high blood pressure in the arteries of the lungs causing shortness of breath and chest pain is known as pulmonary edema pulmonary fibrosis pulmonary embolism pulmonary hypertension so the correct answer is option d pulmonary hypertension the condition in which there is scarring of the lungs making it difficult to breathe is known as pulmonary edema pulmonary fibrosis pulmonary embolism pulmonary hypertension so the correct answer is option b pulmonary fibrosis The frost is by which oxygen is taken up by the body and carbon dioxide is eliminated is known as respiration ventilation diffusion perfusion so the correct answer is option A respiration The frost is of breathing is known as inhalation exhalation respiration ventilation so the correct answer is option A inhalation The amount of air that can be forcefully exhaled after a normal exhalation is known as tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, vital capacity. So the correct answer is option C, expiratory reserve volume. The condition in which there is a long-term inflammation of the airways causing coughing and difficulty breathing is known as bronchitis asthma emphysema pneumonia so the correct answer is option b asthma what is an oxidative break- breakdown of respiratory substrates with the help of o2 called fermentation anaerobic respiration alkyo aerobic respiration so the correct answer is option d aerobic respiration due to flattening of tracheal vessels alveoli are deprived of oxygen in which disease bronchitis asthma pneumonia emphysema so the correct answer is option d emphysema how many amount of o2 is delivered to the tissue under physiological condition by 100 ml of oxygenated blood 5 ml 25 ml 
50 ml more than 50 ml so the correct answer is option a 5 ml thanks for watching my video please subscribe mcqs1 for latest mcqs